Arguments are traditionally divided into two kinds, depending on the level of support the premises yield to the conclusion. If the truth of the premises is supposed to guarantee the truth of the conclusion, we say the argument is deductive. If the truth of the premises only makes the conclusion probably true, we say the argument is inductive or non-deductive. Let's focus on deductive arguments. Here's an example of a deductive argument from Plato's Apology. After Socrates is sentenced to death for, among other things, corrupting the youth, he says, Let us reflect in this way, too, that there is good hope that death is a blessing, for it is one of two things. Either the dead are nothing and have no perception of anything, or it is, as we are told, a change and a relocating for the soul from here to another place. If it is complete lack of perception, like a dreamless sleep, then death would be a great advantage. If, on the other hand, death is a change from here to another place, and what we are told is true and all who have died are there, what greater blessing could there be, gentlemen of the jury? In this passage, Socrates first announces his conclusion. He says, Let us reflect in this way too that there is good hope that death is a blessing. So the conclusion is, death is a blessing. He then states his premises, which we can paraphrase this way. First, either death is a state without perceptions, or it is a relocating of the soul to an afterlife. Second, if death is a state without perceptions, then it is a blessing. Third, if death is a relocation of the soul, then it is a blessing. In this example, if the premises were true, the conclusion would have to be true. So we say the argument is deductively valid, or a valid deductive argument. Arguments that are deductively valid exhibit correct reasoning because of their logical form. To display the form of an argument, we replace sentences in the argument with letters like this. Let A represent death is a state without perceptions. Let B represent death is a relocation of the soul to an afterlife. And let C represent death is a blessing. We can now see that Socrates' argument has this form. Either A or B. If A, then C. If B, then C. Therefore, C. Any argument with this logical form is valid, regardless of what sentences we use for A, B, and C. So, for example, here's a valid argument. Either pigs fly or cows fly. If pigs fly, God exists. If cows fly, God exists. Therefore, God exists. Strictly speaking, there's nothing wrong with the logic of this argument. If the premises were true, the conclusion that God exists would have to be true. However, no one would accept the conclusion that God exists on the basis of the premises in this argument. That's because at least one of the premises is false. A valid deductive argument is not compelling unless all of its premises are true, in which case we say we have a sound deductive argument. A sound deductive argument is a valid deductive argument that has all true premises. There are many deductively valid argument forms, and there are formal methods for determining whether an argument form is valid. You can learn these methods by taking a course on symbolic logic. However, in most philosophy courses, we evaluate deductive arguments informally.